The eruption in the Swarzegi volcanic system of the Reckonus Peninsula of Iceland is continuing. We don't see any earthquakes due to the pulling apart of the Eurasia and North American plates. Almost no earthquakes visible, just a few here and there. And uh, the sinking of the Swarzegi have stopped, according to the uh, Icelandic Meteorological Office. Although the latest data that I have, and I analyze it now for you, shows to me that their assessment is now a little bit out of date over the past few hours. We noticed that actually the sinking has stopped for a few days. Then it is now continuing again. The trend is downward again. You can see it here. This is Kipatsky Heron, and uh, you can see it also in the Swartzengi. And uh, as you can see here, yeah, this is the Swartzengi one. You can see. Uh, and I will highlight it and then pull the arrow there. You can see that is again sinking again. What that means is that the amount of the magma entering and exiting is almost equal or less. The exit is more than entering. So practically the magma is less in the reservoir, is gradually sinking. The GPS data doesn't show the land is rising, it's gradually sinking, it's depleting. And the lack of activity by the input of the magma is also shown on this uh, thermos chart. So you can see no earthquakes practically. Uh, there is some artificial, I think, uh, effects on the harmonic tremors. And this is this area. They repeat at certain times. Can be artificial. They can be man-made. Uh, we have to wait and see anyway to see what's going on. This is the sat latest uh, infrared satellite images of the area released by the IMO. As you can see, the only vent remaining is the K1. I've uh, annotated this uh, uh, area. As you can see, K1 is exactly at the intersection of the two of the uh, fissures from the previous and the current one. The flow of the lava is toward the northwest. It has came in contact with the moss and created moss fire. It increased the uh, pollution in the area. And this is from yesterday. Pollution is worse today. And the direction of the wind now is toward the south, toward the Grindavik. And the uh, Grindavik uh, uh, area uh, has to be uh, reassessed the risk. And this is the updated risk assessment. It was yellow, now it is orange. That's the change that we have to uh, apply to this. And... Uh, the Grindavik area for the coming days will be also suffering from this uh, increased gas pollution, mostly from the Moss fire. And the update you can see here is from the IMO. Uh, this is what I talked about it and a little bit more than that because practically I discussed the latest analysis on my own point of view and opinion on uh, what is available in the geophysical data. And uh, I will keep the situation monitored for you and report on that as soon as possible.